The St. Lucian Health Delegation attended the 77th World Health Assembly in Geneva, Switzerland from May 25th to June 1, 2024. The delegation included Honorable Moses Jabatis, Minister for Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, Ms. Jenny Daniel, Permanent Secretary, Dr. Sharon Belmar George, Chief Medical Officer, and Mrs. Kirthney Shalmain Siraj, Chief Nursing Officer. The theme for the Health Assembly this year is All for Health, Health for All. The World Health Assembly is the main decision-making body of the World Health Organization, WHO, and is comprised of 194 member states, including St. Lucia. Delegates from all member states meet annually in May to review and agree on the organization's priorities and policies. The country delegates make decisions on health goals and strategies that will guide their public health agenda and the WHO Secretariat for Better Health and Well-Being. The Health Assembly also functions as a form of reporting on work plans, achievements, and decide on strategies to address the gaps. The Honorable Minister Moses Jabatist presented the general statement on the theme, All for Health, Health for All. Mr. President, Director General, Delegates, I thank you for this opportunity. St. Lucia notes and applauds the theme, All for Health, Health for All, under which this year's assembly is convened. The government of St. Lucia pursues health policies that are evidence-based, all-inclusive, equitable, accessible, and affordable. This is the basis of the Universal Health Coverage Program, which is currently being implemented. Significant emphasis has been placed on primary preventative services, which create an environment of healthy lifestyles through health education and promotion encouraging regular exercise and healthy eating habits, screening for an early detection of diseases like hypertension, diabetes, and certain types of cancers, among others, have been prioritized in St. Lucia to keep the healthcare costs to a manageable level. It is also to popularize the need for people to access care for all ages. Highlighting the commitment of the government towards the implementation of universal health care, he confirmed the development of evidence-based, inclusive, equitable, accessible, and affordable health services. The chief medical officer presented on universal health coverage and the prevention and control of chronic non-communicable diseases. As a signatory to the, the Sustainable Development Goals Agenda 2013, and the political declaration of the United Nations High-Level Meeting on Universal Health Coverage in New York in September 2019, St. Lucia is committed to the attainment of universal health coverage. As a result, the government of St. Lucia has demonstrated political will through a cabinet conclusion and given directive to accelerate the attainment of universal health care. The Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs has established a universal health care project unit in August of 2022 and launched phase one of universal health coverage in June of 2023. This phase, phase one covers the maternal and child health program and provides obstetric services, including obstetrics, ultrasounds, and lamp services for pregnant women. In August of 2023, performance-based financing pilot project was launched through which diabetics and hypertensives also received screening, lab investigations, and treatment at the primary healthcare facilities at no out-of-pocket spending. Other areas of priority presented on by the health team included the Intergovernmental Negotiating Body to draft and negotiate a WHO Convention Agreement on Pandemic Prevention and Response, Health Climate Change, Health Emergencies, Maternal and Child Health, and Infection Prevention and Control. The health delegation also attended the 36th Commonwealth Health Ministers Meeting on Saturday, May 25, 2024. Hosted by the government of Kiribati, the meeting brought together health ministers, senior officials, and global health leaders from across the Commonwealth. They met under the theme, Actionable Solutions to Building Resilience in Healthcare Systems Within the Commonwealth, with an emphasis on small and vulnerable states. On Sunday, May 27, 2024, the delegation attended a reception hosted by His Excellency Nicole Su, Ambassador and Director General of the Taipei Cultural and Economic Delegation in Geneva. During his reception, the Republic of China-Taiwan confirmed their commitment to supporting member states on health-related matters. The health delegation looks forward to the implementation 
of new health programs and the strengthening of existing programs. For the Ministry of Health, Wellness and Elderly Affairs, I am Jade Brown.